Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from mensuration. And this question has two sub questions. So let us start with the first one. The diagram shows a circle of radius 12 cm with the sector removed. Calculate the perimeter of the remaining shaded shape. So here we can see that a circle is given out of which a small part of it is removed and the remaining major part is given. So this circle has got divided into two sectors now. One is the minor sector and one is the major sector. So this remaining large part is called as a major sector and the small removed portion is called as a minor sector. And here we have labeled the points that is this point we have labeled it as A. The center of the circle is labeled as O and this point is labeled as B. So here the angle made by the minor sector with the center of the circle is given as 50 degree and the radius of the circle is given as 12 centimeter. We have to find out here the perimeter of the remaining shaded shape. So the perimeter is the border or the outline of the given shape. So the outline is made up of the two radii that is OA and OB and the arc length of the major sector AB. So let us write here. The perimeter of the major sector is given as radius OA plus radius OB plus the arc length AB. Now here we know the value of the radii since it is given as 12 cm. But the length of the arc AB is not given. So we need to find out the arc length here. And the formula for arc length is theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Where theta is the central angle and r is the radius. Now here we are talking about the major sector. But the angle of the minor sector is given. So here we need to find out what is the angle of the major sector. That is the central angle for this formula. So here the total angle at the center of the circle is 360. So out of that 50 degrees assigned to the minor sector. So the remaining angle that is 360 minus 50 is 310 degrees. So the central angle for the major sector we have got here is 310. So let us substitute the values over here now. So here we have theta that is the central angle of the major sector as 310 over 360 times 2 pi and radius is given as 12 centimeter. So let us see what is the value we get here. So here we get the value as 62 over 3 pi or in terms of decimals it is 64.926. So we are going to round it off to two decimal places. So it is going to be 64.93. So here we have written 64.93 centimeter. So that is the length of the arc AB of the major sector. So once we have got the arc length AB, let us find out the perimeter of the remaining shaded shape or of the major sector. Again repeating the same formula over here, radius OA plus radius OB plus arc length AB. So here the radius is given as 12, so 12 plus 12 plus 64.93 that is the arc length. We get the total perimeter of the remaining shaded region as 88.93 centimeter. Now let us move on to the B question. The diagram in part A shows the top of a cylindrical cake with a slice removed. The volume of cake that remains is 3510 cubic centimeter. Calculate the height of the cake. So in part A of this question, this was the diagram given. And in part B it says that it is the top part of a cylindrical cake which was given. And a slice of that cake was removed. So let me draw a rough figure of the cylindrical cake here. So here it's the same cake but in the form of a cylinder now. So we can see that the part AOB represents the slice which was cut from the cake. And here it says that the volume of the remaining cake is 3510 cubic centimeter. We have to find out what is the height of this cylinder or height of this cake. So we have the formula for volume of any shape as base area times height. Now the base area will be same as the top area of this given cake. So the top area is this major sector. So if we find out the area of this major sector, that will represent the base area of this cake. And the height we need to find out what it is. So let us write here 3510 is equal to the base area that is the area of the sector is given by the formula theta over 360 times pi r square times the height of the cylinder. Now here theta again represents the central angle of this major sector and we had got it in part A as 310 degrees and the radius is also given as 12. So substituting the respective values we get here, 3510 is equal to central angle that is 310 over 360 times pi times r is 12 square times the height which we need to find. Now let us make h as the subject 
So rearranging the 360 multiplies with 3510. So here we get h equal to 3510 times 360 divided by now 310 pi and 12 square goes to the denominator. So let us see what value we get here. So here we get the value as 9.01. So that is going to be the height of the cake. So here we have written the height of the cake is 9.01 centimeter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.